Sky Terran is back. We are currently sitting on a five game winning streak on our MMR has absolutely skyrocketed. We are at 5334 MMR. We are way higher than I've expected and we got there way faster as well. Can we continue this trend? Let's find out. First game is going to be against a very short barcode. That's actually a little bit suspicious. It's a 5-5 Protoss, but the barcode is so short, it's very easily recognizable. Not quite sure if the point of the barcode is still there in that case. Then you might as well give yourself a weird name like Maverick, for example. You know, if you're going to get recognized anyway the second time in the loading screen. Now, in the last episode, we had a really good game against Protoss. But I have to admit, I am always going to keep my fear of high-level Protoss players with this challenge. Because it's just, it's very tough to defend without being able to make factory units. Now... The last time, in the last episode, we played on Cosmic Sapphire, which is a map that has a lot of airspace behind the bases where you can hide battlecruisers, go for sneaky outplays. This map doesn't have that, so we're going to have to figure out something else to try and win. Now, I actually have a little bit of a crazy idea. It literally just popped into my mind. I could potentially go for a 1-1-1 plus a proxy starport. So, if my opponent scouts me with... You know, an Observer, a Phoenix, an Oracle, whatever it is, as long as they scout me. They would see something that looks almost normal. It's never going to look quite standard, but it's going to look almost normal. If they're not paying super close attention to detail, maybe they will think it's completely normal. But then I could show up with a bunch of Cloak Banshees. And maybe finish it off with some kind of landed Viking attack. That's my idea. It sounds a bit insane. It's going to be very close to pull it off. But I'm going to give it a shot. It's going to be very difficult. Now, we are getting probe scouted at a normal timing, so... That doesn't uh, make me feel any more suspicious. Also not going to have any delay on my barracks, which is nice because the probe messed up a little bit in the AI. Might even be able to do some damage to it, actually. It's always nice. If you don't do any damage to the probe, it's just going to keep sticking around and harass your SCPs over and over and over. But if you take a little bit of HP damage, they typically tend to just go away after a while. And I'm also going to be able to pop down my command center without any um, interference, which is great. Now, I do have to send another SCV down so I don't get tortured by this probe, of course. Let's see, there is actually a base. Maybe I can actually... Can I win this fight? I think I'm winning this fight. Yeah, all right, let's go. First victory of the game is in our pocket. We take those. Oh, he's not making anything yet. He actually played Nexus before core, looks like. I feel like the core is normally a little bit faster than that. Now, I do need to send out an SCV to proxy a starport. I'm just... I'm really not sure if the build fits. I don't think it's a worthy experiment, though, so I'm definitely going to go for it. Actually, I can skip the reactor. That should help me with my gas problem. Because um, if I made a reactor, too, I really don't think I could afford two starports. But maybe if I skip that reactor, we could. I do. I am going to make a reactor at some point, though. Twilight Council, okay. That's actually slightly annoying, because Twilight Council is the least likely to actually scout me. And here, I'm really in it for the mind games. So that is slightly unfortunate. I think the first Twilight Council scout is typically the observer from the robotics facility. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which arrives only in like two minutes. Unless he goes for a sentry. Sentry. Wait, why is he running? Oh, he sent the adept to my base. Okay. I really I've not seen someone run at three minutes for a single Reaper before. Uh, that's a little bit a little bit strange, but I guess we take it. Oh, if he finished that shade, we would have killed. He's gonna lose the adept anyway, I think. That is not well done by him, guys. I think the Reaper is going to catch it. That's fantastic news for us. I need two hits, I believe. I'm going to get it in time. There we go. Okay. I mean, we're having a really good start so far. Uh, it's nothing special, but nothing is going right for our opponent. He lost a probe to my SCV. He lost an Adept for free. And he had to pull his probes away from the natural for a bit. Or he didn't have to, but he did. So, so far, it's so good. And let's see what else I can find. There's probably just a Robo Bay on the way somewhere. See, Chrono Boost. Um, actually, I don't need this, no. I'm gonna bring that back over there. I do need a bunker, however. This is the starport that needs a tech lab. There we go. And then I guess I'll just save up two Banshees. And at the same time in my main base, I'll be making Reactor Vikings to hopefully defend a Blink attack. Well, ideally, there is no Blink attack, but judging by the lack of third base, that is uh, very wishful thinking. Oh, there's a probe there, though. What is that probe trying to do? Is that making a base by any chance? Oh, it is making a base. He is going to kill my Reaper for it, but that's actually a pretty nice scout. I I feel like the base is a bit late. I'm not 100% sure on the timing, 100% sure on the timing, but it does feel a little bit late here. Um, I'm going to keep my Marines here. Mostly just to deny the Observer. I'm actually going to save a scan for it. Observer should arrive in about... I feel like it's usually 450. 
I could be really crazy and fly these Vikings around. Of course, I'm going to do it. As soon as I say that, you guys already know me. As soon as I say, I would only do this if I'm really crazy. I always do it, I feel like. So, there we go. Oh, no, it's a Phoenix. Okay. Well, I guess it's okay. Um, I wonder what he... Th I don't even know what he would think. This is such a weird thing to scout. No add-ons on the barracks or the factory. And it's just reactor starports. Uh, or one reactor starport making stuff. I, re I really honestly don't know what you even think here if you scout this. This looks so weird. Um, I guess I'll probably save these. So I can kind of wombo combo together with the Banshees. <laughs> this has to be the weirdest thing I've done yet in this freaking uh, entire series. Now, I don't think I'm going to land them. I feel like that would probably be suicide. Um, I have one Marine. Do I have anything to scout with? I feel like I don't really. Also, that Phoenix made me a bit suspicious. Is there actually no Observer coming then? Mm -hmm. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I'm going to go with Banshees. I do need a third Starport to actually produce enough units. I don't really want to... <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I don't really want to let this get to a infinite macro game. I feel like this is the kind of game I need to end not fast, but somewhat on time. Now, even if he has an Observer here, he has it for no reason. So that's why I'm very confidently going in. Not quite sure why there's a battery either after scouting what he did. Maybe he was blind. So he does have an observer here. Um, yeah, I, I kind of have to call it a mistake by him. The observer is there for no reason. Can I not hide here? That would be unfortunate. Oh, I can actually hide. Now, I have killed a bunch of workers already, which is good. The problem is that I I need more than that. I need to end this game. Um, and it's just not going to be enough for me to do a decent amount of damage. I feel like since there's an observer in his base, there has to be one in my base as well. I don't know where it is, but it's probably here somewhere. Let's just see. Maybe it's not there. I don't know. Hmm. Right. Do I have any kind of timing here? I have eight Vikings. It seems a little bit absurd. Um, oh, he found my starport? This guy's a genius. That's all I can say, guys. We're playing as the freaking genius over here. Um, yeah, I think it's time to go. I'm really tempted to pull my SCVs as well. Oh, don't lose that, please. Here we go. Ah... This is such a weird game right now. I'm actually going to pull all my workers as well. I, I don't feel like this is the kind of game that I can really go for slow outplays or something like that. So I'm just going to go for it. There we go. He's actually he's using so many stalkers to kill that. Oh, I might be able to get that sentry. There we go. Huge. Okay. And now we're just going to go forward. He has five stalkers in the bottom. Uh, SCPs, please come here. Stop derping. That'd be nice. He does have a turbo battery. Yeah, that is kind of the end of all of this aggression. The problem is that Stalkers are the perfect unit to micro. I can target the Stalkers one by one, I think. Because I have enough DPS. There you go. He just blink those so I can kill those. Oh, he does have charge, sadly. Uh, that's going to make this a lot harder. Let's see. Can we get those? More and more Banshees coming in. And units in general. We actually target those there. Maybe I can get this Pylon over here. If I get a trade early before it can snowball, that'd be massive. Let's see. Another Stalker down. Kill this one. Does he have an Observer? Doesn't look like he has an Observer there, which is really nice. Maybe I can drain the battery a little bit too. Oh, no, he has an Immortal. That is probably the end of our dreams here. Yeah, and it does seem like he has cleaned us up. It's been a tough one. Um, I feel like we made a good effort here, to be honest. But Protoss is going to be very, very, very difficult to beat. He definitely made a lot of mistakes. But we still couldn't quite get through. And I'm mostly trying to think of... What I could do better next time. Because I don't I don't really see the transition into the macro gamer. That's the thing. Um, I, do, I do have to admit. Um, yeah, he was extremely lucky. He made some mistakes here by keeping the observers at home. Uh, he scouted what I was doing. And he saw a reactor starport. There's no reason at all for him to suspect Cloak Banshee. So I think I actually got a bit behind because of his insecurity in what he was scouting. He should have believed what he scouted a little bit more, but he didn't. And thus he countered my build a little bit on accident. Uh, but even then, to be fair, I don't feel like we were going to be able to do groundbreaking damage with this build anyway. Yeah, he had this observer here for absolutely no reason. He responded kind of late, so I got some workers. But you can see, double forge, charge, blink is finished. I personally do not see the wind condition here. I think the only option here would be to go for speed banshee. So I think the next time... Excuse me. I think the next time we get into a macro game against Protoss where we can't go BCs because of the map, if we have to go for speed banshees. That's going to be the solution. Anyway, it's a rough loss. It's the end of our five winning streak, but maybe we can get it back. Let's try.
All right, we got a Terran player called Soda. I actually just got a really crazy idea for our next TVP, by the way. Uh, you know, guys, I'm allowed to make one Reaper and five Marines. What if I open up with a proxy Reaper into Marine and kind of try to get a bunker rush going and then get into Sky Terran? It definitely shouldn't work because if you do something like that, people will usually retaliate in some way by going for some kind of blink attack, right? Um, and then I really won't have anything at home. But there's the possibility that we just get ahead by doing that and then get into Sky Terran, which would be nice. Um, though the last game definitely confirmed to me that we need to go for Speed Banshees or Battlecruisers. We can't have any other way to win against Protoss, so it's nice to know that we learned from our mistakes. Uh, or learn from our lack of knowledge, I guess we could say. Uh, and then we try again for the next time. Now, since it's a TVT, I'm definitely going to go for the double gas here. Try to mind game a little bit, switch up the openers. Uh, probably gonna run into a double gas ourselves. I feel like playing against a Terran that doesn't go double gas is very rare these days. So I would be kind of surprised. Luckily, if you play double gas, you can actually afford to scout it a little bit later. I in my scenario, that's actually not the case because I'm not, al you know, I'm not allowed to make Hellions or anything like that. So I wouldn't even be able to defend. So I actually should scout in time. But if I go double gas and I scout really early, I would just be gutting my economy a little bit too much. It's actually a good lesson to learn to balance out your openers. Like if you go for a Reaper Expand, a very economic opener, you can obviously afford to scout. If you play Double Gas, a little bit higher tech, but low eco opener. Usually you don't want to SCV scout, or if you do, you don't want to scout too early. Uh, my opponent, for example, is scouting way too early. So if he's playing Double Gas now, he's already made a pretty big mistake in that regard. So uh, either it's not a Double Gas or his ec economy is going to be really bad. So <laughs> I guess either of those are fine. And yeah, he is actually going for a Reaper Expand like I thought, so he's scouting early. Also could have been... No, I was going to say could have been a proxy, but I don't think so. I feel like it was a little bit too early to be a proxy. So you can see my opponent is also playing according to the rules. Would be the most efficient, which is nice. I think here I'm actually going to go for a Reactor. Uh, I'm going to have to use a Reactor later anyway to get Vikings. And I don't necessarily need extra units to defend anything, because my opponent is playing Fast Expand. But we don't have anything to worry about. The thing that's going to be annoying is that he'll probably come back around with the SUV, scout my base, kind of see what I'm up to, and I don't really want to be uh, be messed with early on. Now maybe you can do some real critical damage here, let's see. No, he's going for a marine. That's an unpunishable opening. Maybe I can do some free damage though. Always like free damage. There we go. Um, I'm going to try to jump up here. If his reaper is there, he'll just jump back down. Shouldn't be able to lose anything. Let's see. Oh, there's actually nothing here, okay. We take those. Ooh, that's a really big trade. And now I can actually keep pressuring a little bit, which is fantastic. I'm surprised he's actually trying to attack with the Reaper still. Ooh, I should have ran. I thought I had one more hit in me. All right, well, I mean, it's a fair trade. Reaper for Reaper. I'm not going to complain about that. I did actually make my CC a little bit late, so I might get supply blocked. That would be kind of nasty. Hmm... Should I... Yeah, I should probably skip these marines. I'm not in danger anyway. I think that was a... Oh, no, it's not even done yet. I was going to say, I think that was a tech lab building on the on the factory, but the factory is actually not even done yet, so we're good. I'm going to go for a raven first. Uh, I don't want to make a depot because my CC is going to finish at the same time. So it would kind of be a little bit of a waste of money. I'm going to make my second starport here. I know it looks like a crazy location, but I think this is actually the least to be scouted. Because if he goes into my natural... Uh, he won't see that. If he goes into the main, he'll probably go on the upside here. So I think this is a really good location for the starport. I do need to get a bunker going, else I'm just going to get ruined. And he actually, think about it, he probably doesn't even have another Reaper, right? So we should be quite safe here to not get scouted. Probably make a third starport like behind this mineral line. So if they scan, it's very unlikely that they see all of the starports. I mean, if someone would scan here, they would see both. But then they're probably a hacker. Because who the hell, <laughs> you know, who in their right mind would scan that location when scouting? That would be the sickest misclick ever. Ima imagine, imagine scanning here on accident and actually seeing double starport. Imagine that. That would be freaking crazy. Uh, one marine here. I'm going to be a little bit down in eco. But... I feel like my tech is at a reasonable time, so I don't have to worry too much. Not quite sure if I can afford my third star per yet, or if I have to go for... I probably have to make another depot first. I do really want to be able to overwhelm him with Banshees if I don't get like a really good amount of ground damage. Not quite sure what I can do. 
guess I'll make it. Oh, this is actually a little bit risky though, thinking about it. If I get tank pushed here, this is gonna be the saddest starport in history. <laughs> That's gonna be a pretty tragic moment. It might even be checkmate actually if that happens, because I need the production. Probably would have been, yeah, thinking about it, probably would have been better to just make my starport here. Even if it's more likely to get scouted, it's also safer at the same time. And if there's anything I hate in these challenges, it's like losing a game like too easy, you know? Like if I lose a game because he sees his tanks here, I'm actually going to be a little bit upset. Now, how am I going to use these units? I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I'm trying to think here. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to make another Reaper. I know the rule is that I can have five Marines at any any time now, even if I lose them. I'm not sure if the rule is that I can make extra Reapers, though. I guess I'm not going to do it to not betray your guys' trust. That's, uh, that's my idea right now. I can actually go for a scan, see if he's moving out. T TVT tends to be very stylistic, so I think people either, you know, they never do anything or they attack you all the time. That's what I usually see. It, it's very tough. Or very rare, I should say, to find like a middle of the road guy that kind of attacks but kind of sits back. It's usually like they play full Maru style where they just camp like crazy. Or they uh, go all out and try to attack you. Now judging by the lack of attacks, I think he's definitely more the Maru style. He actually- Ooh! What is this build? We're being scanned. Did we get scanned? He has three barracks, guys. Is he playing a fast three racks? I'm not sure if I can stay around there, actually. Yeah, he does have Vikings. Okay, I need to get the hell out of here. Ooh, please. Have I been too greedy? Have I sinned? No, we're still alive. Okay, good. That was very scary, guys. I could have lost those. I mean, they did a good amount of damage. I think we basically evened up the game with that. Now, obviously, we're a bit behind from the economic opener that he did. No, he does have a third base. It was seems like he was just building it. He's building a third against the Banshees. Makes a lot of sense. And ideally, I should be going for planetary fortresses here so I can actually survive. And if he doesn't make a turret here, we can actually kind of mess him up. I'm kind of surprised to see the turrets, because usually people just count their cloak with their ravens. If you don't make a raven in TVT, you are a little bit of a psycho. That's how good ravens are. You, you make you make ravens in every TVT or you're crazy. Oh, he's going to land them. I have banshees, though. This is... Oh, my God. I can actually kill so much stuff here, guys. I can even land these. Let's go. This is actually crazy. Wow, I'm getting so much done here. Is there another... Why is there a tank there? What the hell is that doing there? Wait, he wants to fight this? I don't think you want to fight this. Maybe I should back off a little bit, though. I just feel like I'm uh, in, in sketch territory a little bit, I'm going to say. Just going to CC you here. Ooh. Sure you want to poke? I think I can outpoke you there, buddy. Oh, I can actually... He's, he, all the Marines are here. He's going to get destroyed by the auto turrets. Perfect. Wow. Even got my Marines and the speed finishes. Okay. I did not expect that. This was a very smooth victory. I lost like nothing. What did I even lose here? 825 resources against 3,700. That is a little bit crazy. All right. I mean, we take... Dude, he had nothing left. Two thanks, four Marines. Huh. I, I'm actually quite puzzled. Like, this was a very one-sided landslide victory. And it kind of felt like it came out of nowhere, to be honest. Let's see what he did. What was his supply like? Yeah, like I said, he had three more workers. So we did even that up. Oh, by the way, I do have to tell you guys, this is a very strange setup. In TVT, you usually don't go for two tech labs because your marine count is just going to be so low. Like, you really need reactors. So even though he can get stim and combat shield at the same time, it's actually not a very efficient setup. And that would explain why he had absolutely no marines. Um, he did have... The setup besides that was fine. Double eBay, stim, combat shield, armor... Everything looked completely good, but then he kind of messed that up. Anyway, uh, I have to admit, guys, I'm a little bit tired, so it's a little bit of a short episode, but I think I'm going to call it there. Hope you guys enjoyed it, this episode. Uh, you know, it was a banger. It, the first game was a little bit rough, but we learned from it, which is good. Second game, we kind of made up for it with a dominant victory against the Terran, which is nice. Maybe the next time we'll get revenge on the Protoss players. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for the next one. Adios.